Remember how limited our knowledge was before Google and Wikipedia? Some of you might not. It's technology, and we all seem to love it. I mean, when do we not use technology for everything? I mean, you pick it up. It's just part of your life. When would you, would you ever leave home without this anymore? But it comes with the need to weigh cost and savings. When you think of technology, you probably think of one of these. But using one in certain times, like when you get behind one of these, can really cost you. Hello, I'm Siri. I found this in the web for you. Texting while driving can cost you $175 for your first offense. And it's $500 your second offense. It can also cost you something more valuable than money. It could cost you your life. If you're texting and operating a motor vehicle and uh, you're distracted by, by doing so, I mean, you, could, you can kill somebody or kill yourself. On the other side, technology advances show people a more efficient way to do things. And these processes get results. Local students are benefiting from a project idea started by a group of teachers. Stacy Black is a math instructor at Bossier Parish Community College. If a student has a reason why they're not making class, they miss a lecture, we can then tell them to go to the video. It's called Open Campus, a free tool for students that allows them to watch lecture videos put together by the teachers. And it's making things easier for those teachers because students aren't missing the instruction time. They're not just coming in for us to reteach the lesson. They're coming to our office hours specifically asking questions about the concepts. A list of the benefits that technology provides would be very long. Like almost everything human beings have created, technology has a downside. There is, we might say, a dark side to technology. Parents will always warn their kids, well, don't talk to strangers, but they're doing exactly that in, in, a, in a social website. Dr. Lee Stevens has been a psychiatrist for over 20 years. He's seen technology change over time, and with it comes new costs like cyberbullying. That's one of the things that I worry about. I see probably every month at least one kid that's been cyberbullied. It's not just uh, a nuisance for some kids. I've seen these are kids that have been so depressed they had to be hospitalized for depression and suicidal thinking. He also adds only 2% of the children who were cyberbullied ever tell anyone. So you have to teach kids things like uh, get off Facebook if that's become a problem. Put your phone down. It may sound easy, but it's not. And did you know that using too much can even cause you to toss and turn at night? You can't be with an excessive amount of screen time and then expect it to, be, to go to sleep on time. That exposure to light will, and that exposure to that much stimulation will keep you up. Our world today is changing fast due to the introduction and upgrading of technology. It has dramatically impacted the world in both positive and negative ways. As Dr. Stevens says, It's not all bad. It's how we use it. Technology, it can be a beautiful thing as long as you know how and how not to use it. Joel Rogers, Fox 33.